Now let us consider a comparative table where we will be getting summary for all these mentioned addressing modes in one shot in one view. So now <coughs> we are different uh, addressing modes like immediate, direct, indirect, registered, registered indirect, displacement and stack. So I have mentioned them. Here EA stands for effective address. So here EA stands for effective address means that very address where we are going to get our data. So address of the operand is known as the effective address. So now we are going for this uh, immediate mode where operand will be obtained from the address field because the address field that means instruction is having two fields mainly. This is my instruction it is having two fields. This is the opcode. and there is a corresponding address field. So address field itself is containing operand or data in case of immediate. So no memory reference is required because data is already available in the instruction and limited operand magnitude because here depending upon the number of bits available in this instruction format excluding this opcode bits. So this particular operand size will be constrained. So it has been mentioned here. Next one, direct. This address part itself is containing the effective address. It is very simple. It is very simple. It will require only one memory reference. Go to that memory, mention by this A and fetch the operand. And there is a limited address space because depending upon the number of bits here, the address space will get limited. Because if we are having say 10 bits, so we can have maximum 1024 combinations and so on. Next one is the register. That means here in this particular address part, I am having my register name and register number or register name will denote that that register is containing the operand. So effective address is the register name. No memory reference is required because I am accessing data from the registers and limited address space because Depending upon the available registers in that particular architecture, this address space will be constrained. We are having this register indirect. Register indirect means you are containing the content of the register. Register is containing the address of the operand and content of the address will be the data. So it is this thing. So it is actually denoting the content of the address mentioned in the register is containing operand. So that is the effective address. Large address space because the register, register itself is having huge number of bits but the register number is limited. So here number of bits to denote the register is limited but the register itself is having a huge number of bits to denote the memory address. So this is the case. Displacement. So here we will be having this base address plus registers content. So there is offset. So base address or the offset or it is containing the base address, it is the offset, whatever it is, go on adding then you are getting this effective address. And it is flexible obviously to calculate this operand, to get the operand, it is little bit complicated. In case of stack addressing modes, we are having, we, we know this one that my data is residing on the top of the stack. How many number of data I required for computation that will depend upon the instruction type. So no memory reference and it is a limited applicability, not all instructions support this addressing, stack addressing format. So it is limited applicability and in this way all these addressing modes they have got listed in a single same table for the better understanding with the column headings, advantages, disadvantages and the respective algorithm or the syntax of writing this particular expression. So I have mentioned this one in one shot. I think it is, it will, it, it will be a good help for you to prepare yourself for the, those questions related with the addressing modes might be coming in your future exams. Okay, thanks.